here. How are you today? So, I just want to make a video to say that one of the best ways to have a better life is to be able to laugh at yourself for the madness and the craziness going on in your life and in especially really in your life. Like, I think life <laughs> is an adventure and I've chosen to have my life path and so have you. It's not all law of attraction on the physical, energetic world. I think it's absolute spiritual. Also, the spirit world and the spirits have like contracts, interactions, like like we're in the matrix and there's people on the ship changing and doing little synchronicities and making us little things happen at certain times and everything. So helping us along, you know, on our journey. It's like we're going on a trip. But I just want to say, like, you have to be able to laugh at yourself and your life. Because, like, I went, I, did, I went flying the other day, did a massive somersault on my socks in a wooden floor in there, you know. Went flying. And this is my, uh, my partner, my soulmate, whatever you want to call her. My other com that's her computer. My computer was here. And I went flying. And I ended up, like, doing that. And then this, my body landed on this part, and this part got like bent. And you know, it's, it's still really sore, you know. And some of us, I used to be just like bloody hell. Like, I, I used to be bloody sick, like hell for 10 years, like crippled and disabled. I used to be rich. I used to have like over, well, rich by my standards, I used to have over 100,000 euros saved and then I lost a lot of investments <laughs> with the credit crunch crash years ago. Just things happen in life, you know. I used to be super fit, healthy and strong, lost. It's all good though, it helps you to realise who you really are, a being of peace, love and light. Ah oh, man, what like just life is a journey guys, so I know what it's like to be sick. I know what it's like to be rich and lose your riches. Went through, I suffered from depression, really bad and loneliness and sadness. I suffered from anxiety for all these for so many years. I had suppressed anger. Like I guess I'm a bit of a master of um, suffering and overcoming suffering. <laughs> I was tortured physically. I had like I had such a bad body for, for quite a while. I was tortured daily. Uh, but that's all good though, it's, like, it's good to be tortured sometimes, it makes you wake up to the more important things in life and then you don't fuss over small things. So, one of the things that I say is try to appreciate what you have before it's gone. Um, know what's important in life before you're on your deathbed or before you have a near death experience. Don't wait for those things to happen. Don't wait for huge losses to wake you up to what's truly important in life, so, you know, life will always throw you curveballs, you'll always have funny things happening and like losses and things breaking, internet dying, my friends got their internet, got struck by lightning, they're not them but their heads and their internet's gone for a few days, you know, and then You'll miss your flights, you'll lose your luggage, your car will get clamped. Don't worry guys, these are all the small things. I don't care man that I have a bloody sore side and ribs for the last five days or more. What can you do? I'm taking the herbal powders and the items, but just get on with your life. Get out of your house. Get happy. And live from your heart and in love. In, in joy and gratitude, appreciation for the gift and mystery of life and every single day. Every day and is a, is a, every moment is a gift and a blessing and every day is a gift and a blessing. Like I said, don't wait and laugh at yourself. Know that everything will end, all your suffering will end, this too shall pass. So ease up on your critical thinking, your heavy thinking and get out there and have some fun and Learn as much as you can along the way and to focus on the solution and visualize the solution instead of focusing on the problem. As I said, I used to be 
I used to have it all, money and health wise and fitness. I used to have a six pack for one armed press ups, both arms left and right easily, one legged squats. I could run a marathon without, I didn't even train, I could just run. I was in a running club but I was as fit as a fiddle, I felt I could just run forever, I had endless energy. And I also went through an extremely traumatising breakup and all sorts of stuff. My first girlfriend, but what can you do? We're all on our journey and I'm nobody special. I'm not trying to say I'm anybody special. But I, I am special and you are special. We're all special and I am amazing and perfect and so are you. So, so go ahead and enjoy your life more and that's why I made this video. I hope you can... I hope you suffer less if you're in pain and suffering now and if it's physically, mentally or emotionally and I hope you're able to lighten up and let go of some of the heaviness and go out there and get back into life find the answers, find the solutions get happy and uh, become more healed and help go out there and live from your true self, your true purpose helping people, helping yourself and showing honour, sacredness, reverence, truth, appreciation, love and wonder for this day and everybody and everything. So I'll leave you with that now. Take care, lots of love to you and hugs from me from Ireland. God bless and I hope you have a nice day. See you.